אומר שורטלי. אלה הדברים אשר דיר אמוישו כל ישרו. מה שאבינו היר, הוא בין לספיק words of the Choker, of Musser, of rebuke, to the Zohar Musser of Kvar Yisrael. Chazal Siyad Shal Zohar Yitzir, Moshe Rabbeinu, we know, he was a, he had a speech impediment, Chlad Peh, Chlad Moshen, a difficulty speaking, stutter, and so be, until he was the Kabul, I should say, until he was the Kabul of the Torah, he had that problem, he was, Chlad Peh, Chlad Moshen, after, after Kabbalah Satavir, when many people in the Kodesh all those were miraculously healed, had their food, that was the, that, that was the greatest food for Kodesh Yisrael. Everybody healed from all their ailments and sicknesses. But Shabbat was also healed from the speech impediments he spoke. So the Ran, in his drushes, yes, he's very puzzling. He says, Moshe Rabbeinu had the most difficult marketing job in the world. It's, it's, uh, to merchandise, to sell something is uh, such a heavy commitment like Tyre, <coughs> to such a difficult consumer like the Quad Israel. There's nobody who's, uh, uh, when, when you want to sell something to eat, you got your hands full. He has, he has all kinds of connections. He can buy it cheaper, he can get it wholesale, he has cousins in the business. I, I eat him, he can, uh, like they tell the story with the, with the Nantes Smith. He said, I eat the drink stuff, he always wants to get, he has to get more food, he has to pay less. I eat the stuff they push, he doesn't just go in and buy what it says there. So, so he, Nantes Smith, uh, uh, one time left the Savoy for his, his son, he told me, so when you, uh, he said, when you, when you go in to buy something from a Yid, so he says, so uh, don't, don't bargain with him. Whatever he asks you, give him exactly what he wants. He said, that's what you call an answer, Smith. Should I take out his Nishame until he can gain a couple of pennies profit? He said, you don't understand. He said, you don't understand the, the, the mentality of a single Yid. If you give him whatever he wants, he'll eat himself up a but he didn't ask you twice as much. <laughs> so, so go to business for it. So go, Moshe Rabbeinu, he should have been healed before. He should have all, all the maps and agile tactics with him before he went to sell the Kodesh roll to sell the Matayra. So the Ram says that if Moshe Rabbeinu would have been that great orator, been such a dynamic speaker, Mahabdu like uh, Jesse Graham, like all the, the, the tremendous speakers, the half wealth of the Zen Bear, tremendous orator, tremendous speaker. So then, there is generations later, there is later, great great grandchildren said, Aha, ha, ha, my Zayde, my Alpha Zayde, was an old mother Shiid. He's an old fashioned Jew, very innocent, to me, mystic, very naive. He didn't even sell anything in the world. So the Gunder Neda Maishra Beno was a glib salesman from Madison Avenue, and, and he sold him a Langanata Katsanazak. He sold him something, it's not for this world. They, Shabbos, Kashi, Sarah, Mishpoga. They give out, there's a Jewish expression, I give them to cop and I crank your bed. Who needs it? What is it for? If my Shabino had been that great orator, so Marisha Bedak wanted that it should not be because of his oratory skills. It's because of the intrinsic values of Torah. Shechina, Medaber, Vizagrini, Shomoshe. It had to be sold only on the smarts alone, only on the beauty, the depth, and the, the whatever Torah gives the person the highest, has to be only on that alone, <coughs> not on the salesmanship. So, the Shomoshe Rabbeinu had to be only a Chvat Pelech on Loshan, so they should buy the Torah only because what, what Shabbos really is, what Shabbos means. Well, moon at the top, all these things you need, not because a glib silver came along and sold something to them. Hanani ben Akashi Oimer, Rotso, Akari Borhu, Zaka Israel, the people of Hebron, Mishra, Shinevar, 